And before I show you three unique ways to wear your long infinity scarf, I forgot one traditional way that I really want to make sure that I show you because it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and take my long infinity scarf, put my right wrist through the middle of the loop, put it over my head, grab the other end of the fabric, pull it through, and voila. So there's one final way for you to wear your infinity scarf around your neck. So now let me show you some more unique ways you can use your infinity scarf that you can't do with a shorter scarf. So again, this is really the only things you can do with a, a longer infinity scarf. So the first option is to make it a shawl. Put it over my head, pull down so it's over my shoulders and hangs long in the front and covers my back. I think this is a great option in the summer. Um, if you're wearing an infinity scarf and you go somewhere where the AC is blasting, like the movie theaters or something like that, um, hey, you've got a portable shawl with you to keep you warm. So I like that option. The next option is a little bit more for function. Um, it's a cape. So you can simply take the back of your infinity scarf over your head as such. I, if you check out our website, there's a picture of Brianna wearing her infinity scarf like a cape. It's a great functional way to keep your hair covered. So just the other day I was in the salon and I spent tons of money on getting my hair done. And when I left it was raining, so I put my infinity scarf over my head, ran to the car and I was fine. Now the third option is to wear it as a sarong. There's enough fabric here that you can actually pull it down over your legs. And it's a cold day in Texas today. And I am looking forward to the summer and being on a boat and using my infinity scarf, I guess the wrong. So I've got, a little tied up here. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I've got this, the scarf around me. I'm just gonna pull it over to the right side. I'm gonna take the top of it and make it long. And then I'm going to simply tie a knot on the side, adjust a little bit for style, and I've got a sarong. So thanks for joining us today. Please check out flingfashions.com for more style tips. Thanks.